When you have an abundance of zucchini, one of my favorite recipes to whip up is a zucchini lasagna. It's a fresh take on the classic comfort recipe that's loaded with veggies, and it's still got that fresh, rich flavor and scrumptious texture, just the same as the classic, but it won't weigh you down. If you watched my vegetable sheet cutter video, you got a sneak peek of this recipe, but because I know many of you don't have that tool, I wanted to show you today how to make it with a mandolin or a vegetable peeler. The zucchini lasagna recipe makes for a great weeknight meal to feed a large family, or if you're a party of one or two, like me, you'll have delicious leftovers that you can freeze and enjoy for weeks to come. So let me show you how to make it. I'm starting with four large zucchini because I like a lot of zucchini in my lasagna, but I do have a disclaimer and it's this. The more zucchini you use, the more likely your lasagna will be a bit watery as zucchini is 95% water. Now, this doesn't bother me in the slightest, and there are a few ways that you can make zucchini less watery. If we go back to my video where I showed you the vegetable sheet cutter, you can see that the zucchini was sliced pretty thin and laid down in a single layer, which resulted in a less watery lasagna. So slicing your zucchini thin is the first method. If you use a mandolin, you can adjust the thickness of your slices as well to be as thick or thin as you'd like. My slices, which you'll see here in a second, are actually pretty thick and I set them on the medium setting. To use the mandolin, slice the ends off your zucchini and then please, please use a cut resistant glove. Mandolin blades are extremely sharp and I've sliced a divot out of my thumb before, so I always use a glove now. Run your zucchini down the mandolin and slice each zucchini into perfect slices. As you get towards the end of the zucchini, do keep your fingers up as much as possible. With the mandolin, you can slice all four zucchini in just a minute or two, and I'll link this mandolin, which I've had for years and I love, in the description box below. If you don't have a mandolin, you could use a vegetable peeler or the straight blade on a julienne peeler as well. Just place the blade on the end of the zucchini and pull it across. It's not as fast or easy as the mandolin, but it definitely works if this is what you've got. Now between those two options, you can see the difference in thickness, and while I prefer the thicker slices of zucchini, it's totally up to you. In addition to slicing your zucchini thinner, there are two other ways to remove some of the water from zucchini, and the first involves salt. So place your zucchini on a large plate or baking tray, sprinkle it with a good amount of salt, and then let it sit for 15 minutes. The salt draws the moisture out of the zucchini, which you can see beading on top. Blot the zucchini dry with a paper towel to remove that moisture and make sure to wipe off some of that excess salt as well. Another thing you can do is grill the zucchini. If you grill it for one to two minutes on each side, you'll remove much of the moisture and thus have a less watery zucchini lasagna. Once you've grilled both sides, just place the zucchini on a paper towel to blot dry. Once your zucchini are all sliced, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and add two pounds of ground beef to a large saute pan on medium high heat. Use a spatula to break down the meat as you want lots of small little pieces rather than large chunks and cook it until it's browned and no longer pink. Add almost all of a 24 ounce jar of pasta sauce to the meat, but reserve a half a cup as we'll use that in the bottom of the casserole dish. Stir the sauce and meat together until it's well combined, then turn off the heat. Grate one cup of fresh Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, and I do recommend freshly grated cheese rather than pre-grated if you can find it. I'm personally not a fan of the anti-caking agents in pre-grated cheese, and the flavor is much fresher and tastes more authentic when you grate the cheese yourself. Next, you'll grate about one and a half cups of fresh mozzarella, and fresh mozzarella is creamier and softer than processed grated mozzarellas, which I love. In a large mixing bowl, add 15 ounces of ricotta cheese, and you can use whole milk or part skim. Whole milk ricotta is richer and creamier, and part skim will save you a few calories, so it's completely up to you. Then add one egg and some salt and pepper. Give that a stir to mix everything together, then add your grated Parmesan and stir it again. Next, you need a small handful of fresh basil and parsley. 
And I'm thrilled to be able to harvest these from my patio herb garden, which has grown heaps in the last month. These bold herbs bring that traditional Italian flavor to the recipe, and you wanna just roughly chop them up. All right, now that our individual ingredients are ready, we can assemble this lasagna. On the bottom, add that half a cup of pasta sauce that you reserved and use a large spoon to spread it around. This just ensures nothing sticks to the bottom of the pan. Then add the zucchini. You can see that I'm overlapping the zucchini by about half. You can do this as well or just lay them side by side if you'd like to use less. Our next layer is the meat sauce, so add half of what's in your saute pan and use your spatula to spread it out into a thin layer and pat it down. Then add half of the ricotta mixture by just dolloping little bits and use the back of your spoon to spread this around as well. Add about a half a cup of grated mozzarella on top, which is one third of what we've grated, and sprinkle one third of the herbs. Then we'll repeat this whole process again, so we'll have two delicious layers in our lasagna. Once the second layer of zucchini is completely laid out, I do flatten it a bit with my hands, just to make sure it's fitting nice and tight in the pan. Add the second layer of meat sauce, the rest of the ricotta, another half a cup of mozzarella, and another sprinkling of herbs. The last layer is our top layer, so add the zucchini, give it one last smoosh down to flatten, then add the last of your herbs and mozzarella. Place the zucchini lasagna in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes, and it should be bubbling and smell amazing when it's done. I also like to turn on the top broiler for about five minutes at the end to get a nice golden top. Before serving, add fresh whole basil leaves for a beautiful presentation. And after you've sliced a piece with a sharp knife, I recommend scooping it out with a slotted spatula so any residual liquid stays in the pan. This zucchini lasagna is hearty, flavorful, and definitely a family favorite, so I hope you enjoy it as well. If you'd like to see more healthy casserole recipes, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys again in next week's video.